This is for everybody out there standing for the Lord Jesus Christ in this hour and those to come. Don't let nobody discourage you on your walk. Listen to the Holy Spirit over man. Those who find time enough to discourage a believer will be begging in the lake of fire for that time back. Just like the rich man who was begging to Abraham to send Lazarus to dip his finger in water to cool off his tongue. Hold your head up. You are a child of God. People fear what they don't understand. <laughs> and the reason they don't understand is because they aren't taking the time to understand. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I don't understand. It's okay for people to hate you while you love God. Huh? The Holy Spirit told me that a lot of people have become blinded by the amusement part. The amusement part that hand by hand, brick by brick is being built all around us by people crossing over from the light to the dark and into the Luciferian church. Who, who built this country hand by hand, brick by brick. Who built this country hand by hand. Brick by brick. Brick by brick. Brick by brick. Brick by brick. The bright lights and greed have blinded the eyes of many. Satan is down here handing out tokens, y'all. And if God ain't important to you in this hour, you will find yourself with a mouthful of cotton candy when Christ returns. Cotton candy? Hot dogs and popcorn. popcorn. Most people around you are only living for now in a do as thou wilt Alistair Crowley type way. Living for the moment. It's because everybody dies, but not everybody I lives. Said I can have this moment for life. Most of them have claimed to be even gods over their own lives, but how can you be a god over something that you didn't even have a hand in creating? Man, black people in this country, they want to feel like they are a part of something. No doubt. Stick around, Jay. I'm a school. And if you don't believe in the afterlife, tell me, what were you doing in the belly of your mama? You don't recall, huh? That's because you were in a whole nother world, a world that's connected to the one you're in right now, huh? You ate in that world, you wrestle with darkness in that world. Some people say that you plan when you kick it in the stomach, you know, but you're wrestling with darkness in that world. And guess what? In that womb, there ain't no atheists. In that womb, it ain't no racist people, huh? Why? Yeah, baby, why? I mean, ain't like he called us porch monkeys. Hey, hey! Come on, baby, stop it. No, me see the judge told you about that. You gotta stop putting your hands Here, take this. This is your money. Please, take the food on us. We're sorry. A long time ago, I had to stop going after what feels good to me, and I started chasing after what's right. And what's right is to deny yourself so that others can live. The true essence of love. And the only person to do that in its truest form was Jesus. Jesus. And we got people out here who want to compare somebody like Nipsey Hussle to the Messiah, Jesus Christ. You compare Nipsey to Jesus? Yeah, why not? Blasphemy. Let me tell you how they different, though. Hand me your phone. Hello. Hey, where that CIA agent at? Yeah, he's right here. Put him on the phone. <clears throat> Hello. 
Hey, you still out there cooning, bro? Yeah, right now. Nipsey sold albums, but Jesus saves lives. Nipsey was in Hollywood, but Jesus is in heaven. Nipsey never will be, but Jesus always was. Nipsey was building cashless stores, but Jesus was around before cash. Nipsey rose in album sales, but Jesus rose from the dead. There wasn't any blood at Nipsey crime scene, but the blood of Christ is upon me now. Sand is pouring out the hourglass, y'all, and we are entering into the night portion of a day. A portion where good will be seen as evil and evil seen as good. Pedophilia and homosexuality is being normalized all around you. You don't believe me? Ask the puppet Dave Chappelle. No, 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 no. She said, in fact, I read about you in the New York Times. I said, you did? <laughs> she said, yeah. She said, I thought it was interesting that they blamed you for R. Kelly. They said you normalized him for telling jokes about him. I go, yeah, yeah, they said that. She goes, I wonder why they never said that you normalized transgenders by telling jokes about us. Well, they said you normalized them for telling jokes about them. The blood of the missing kids cry out in the streets. Witches out here sacrificing their kids and then they throw up GoFundMes? Near the food line on Williamson Road, that's just off of I-77 in Mooresville. While authorities work to try and solve this case, thousands of parents are holding their breath, waiting for word that this could be their missing child. She says she's been in contact with authorities that found the remains somewhere in this wooded area that's behind me. And as of tonight at 6 o'clock, she's still waiting to hear back from them as to whether it's her son or not and then they throw a GoFundMe. Somebody out there knows what happened to her son. She started a GoFundMe. They even out here trying to reverse the natural order of sexuality and got the nerve to tell me if they happy chosen how can you interfere with their happiness? Well, pedophiles are happy too, uh, but should we let them continue to deflower the children? God forbid. Just because it makes a whole lot of people happy, don't make it right. One thing I learned is that the people are opinionated, but opinions usually lead to more opinions. If I handed five people the same orange, one would probably say it's too hard, one would probably say it's too soft, and the other three might say it's just right. So it's one orange with three different opinions on it. If we live off people's opinions of us, we may as well die because how can we live up to a person's unsatisfied expectations? People can't even please themselves. So how could you? Most people don't even know who they are. So most of what they say is a compilation from others who don't know who they are. And the cycle keeps going on and on and on. Playing no checkers on no chess right. board, yo. All right, all right, all right, man. Now look, check it. It's simple. It's simple. See this? This the king pen. All right. And he the man. You get the other dude's king. You got the game. And he trying to get your king too. So you got protected. Now the king, he move one space any direction he choose, cause he's the king. Like this, this, this. All right. But he ain't got no hustle. But the rest of these is on the team, they got his back. And they run so deep, he really ain't got a I like your uncle. Yeah, like my uncle. And you see this? This the queen. She's smart, she fierce. She move any way she want, as far as she want. 
And she is the go get done piece. She got all the moves. All right, so if I make it to the other end, I win. Nah, yo, it ain't like that. Look, the pawns, man, in the game, they get capped quick. They be out the game early. Unless they some smart-ass pawns. 